two to play. The fumble you created, recovered, scored on. Uh, I just remember it being a critical part of the game and thinking that, honestly, keeping it 100, somebody need to make a play. Um, so I said, why not me? And got off the ball and just happened so fast and ended up in the end zone. So. What's that moment like to do that in a place like that with a crowd and kind of take that away? I think it was seven and a half minutes left. Uh, to be honest, it just comes back to what I've been preaching. Practice, do what you do in practice. And um, it's, it's just what I was thinking. Just calming myself down, like, hey, this is just do what you do in practice and help your team win. And uh, that's what I tried to do in, on that play. It's obvious on that one how he was holding the ball, but technique wise, are you always going for a hack in, uh, in a grab, or is it based on ball plays? I mean, you always want every sack to be a fumble. Um, so I knew uh, he didn't see me. Um, I knew that. I knew that even if I couldn't get the ball, I would secure the tackle. So I just sold out and tried to get the ball out of his hand, came out, picked it up, uh, applied drill work in the game, and um, ended up in the end zone. So it was pretty cool. You came into the season with a lot of self-confidence. You displayed that at ACC kickoff, for example. What has it meant for you to kind of back that up to this way you have and now get some of the accolades that you get with ACC Player of the Week and National Awards where I'm a semifinalist? I mean, first and foremost, I'm trying to help the team. Um, they brought me here, Coach Norvell brought me here to help, and um, I knew what role I was going to step into, so that was my main concern was busting my butt and helping the team and young guys and guys same age uh, help the program win, and that was my main goal. Um, but in terms of uh, confidence, I mean, thoughts are the most important thing. They're the most powerful thing in existence. So whatever you think is going to happen, it's going to affect how you attack everything daily. So, I mean, I just have self-confidence. I believe in how I work. Like I said, I'm going to always preach practice hard. I'm, you're going to fall back on your preparation. So, I mean, I think I prepare pretty hard. Um, I know I can always work harder. So, I mean, as long as I just keep that up, um, I, I believe I can continue to help this team and um, ultimately myself. Coach Fuller talked about that double strip sack. That's something you guys practice and drill every day. Do you think the younger guys around you kind of recognize that? Like, hey, like, we practice this and they're giving us the right sort of tools to get good for the game. Yeah, um, I mean, the drills are there. The work is there to be done. Um, Hard work works, you know, there's no way around it. You got to work hard, you got to bust your butt, you got to put in the hours. Um, but at the end of the day, it's going to work. You do what your main coach to do, and you, you, you do it with passion. It's going to show up on game day, not only for yourself, but for the team, and, and um, hopefully it ends up in a win. Uh, they got a pretty solid team, pretty solid offense, run the ball pretty good. Um, they throw it pretty good as well. I know the quarterback only has two picks. Um, but no, they, they got a pretty good team, but you know, like I say every week, it doesn't change how we're going to prepare. We're still going to try to get better than we were last week and, and um, practice for what they do well so we can stop it. Your intention to play all 12 games for this, this team this season? Is it yes, I'm, I'm, like I said, I'm here to sell out for this team and the university. Um, I'm not, you know, I'm not one of those guys. I'm gonna try to give everything I got to the program, and I mean that just comes down to who I am as a man and a character. Um, you know, I just believe in being loyal. Um, so who's loyal to you? And um, you know, this team has been nothing but loyal to me and the program and the coaches. So I mean, I'm here to stay and I'm here to help help this team win games. What's the next step for this defense to, to learn how to close out those games in the fourth quarter? Uh, you know, I mean, what I preach to myself is don't let the moment be too big for you, be bigger than the moment. Um, so just in tight situations as a whole, just being able to, you know, stay poised and attack each situation like it's a rep in practice and just do it the right way. Um, don't let the moment be too big for you and, and you know, don't pl start playing out of technique and, and starting to freelance, so, you know, that's when bad things happen. So uh, just, just starting to stick to your technique and, um, and just finish the job. Remain on the uh, final on that final series for you know Clemson drove down and scored. Um, was a, there was a couple of penalties there. Um, does, does it, what was it like in the huddle uh, with your teammates trying to maintain composure? 
I mean, I'm a strong believer in, you know, maintaining your composure. Um, so what, now what? I always preach that. You know, whatever happens, you got to be able to flush it and focus on, on what's at hand. You know, there's plenty of time after the game to either celebrate or cry about what happened. Um, but at the time at hand, you need to stay focused and, you know, focus on the next play. Did you feel like uh, your teammates were trying to do that, trying to stay focused? Yes, sir. That's all we preach. That's all we've been preaching since I, since I, at least I stepped here, stepped foot here in uh, January. And, you know, that's what we're doing. You know, we had a couple penalties, you know, that, you know, weren't ideal, but, you know, just kept our head down and hoped for the best and, you know, played every play with 100% effort. I know you guys don't want to be like pat on the back for coming out here and continuing to do what you know, prepare hard. But what does it say about you guys that you guys haven't been discouraged throughout the ups and downs of the season? I mean, like I said, it goes in the same thing in the game. Uh, you can't pout about what's going on in a game or else it's going to distract you from the play at hand. Just the same thing as the season. You can't pout about what, what went on during the season or else you're not going to be ready and focused on the next game. So, I mean, when the season's over, we'll, we'll look back and, and see, what, you know, see what happened and what we need to fix. But for now, we just got to attack every day the same and come out ready to practice and, and play hard.